All right, and we're going to keep our eye on that, of course, throughout the day. Meantime, we're following some breaking news coming out of the Capitol today on the Prime Minister's plan to have a former Governor General, David Johnston, as his so-called special rapporteur to investigate claims that China interfered in the last two Canadian federal elections. Let's bring in our senior political correspondent, Glenn McGregor, with more today. Glenn, what are you seeing? Yeah, Todd, the government has already described uh, sort of in general sense what David Johnston's mandate will be as special rapporteur on uh, foreign interference in Canadian elections. Today, they put out a written version of that, uh, describing <clears throat> in great detail exactly what he's going to be doing and what sort of powers he's going to be given. And the summary of this is it basically it's a blank slate. He can pretty much interview anybody he wants uh, about any topic related to foreign interference. Uh, he is going to be given access to unclassified and classified documents, including those, this is a crucial point, protected by cabinet confidence. One of the complaints about the Committee of Parliamentarians, NSI COP as it's called, uh, is that they haven't been able to get access to documents that were prepared uh, by or for Justin Trudeau and his cabinet because those have a 30-year uh, confidentiality provision applied to them. That will not apply to Mr. Johnson's work. Also learning that he is going to... Um, be looking in specifically, uh, one of the things he'll be asked to examine is essentially what the Prime Minister knew about foreign interference and what he did about it. This is a point that the Conservative opposition has uh, was, was very emphatic about. We have to know exactly what Justin Trudeau was told about some of these allegations about foreign interference in elections and what kind of response he made. So that's specifically laid out in um, Mr. Johnson's mandate. Uh, one other interesting detail coming out today is we also know how much he's going to be paid. That will be between $1,400 and $1,600 per day, plus travel expenses uh, if, if those are required, as well as how any uh, costs associated with this that, are, that he's going to bring in extra staff to help him because, as you know, Todd, he's a pretty tight deadline. He's got to decide before the 23rd of May whether or not a public inquiry into this issue is required. Yeah, so the timeline here is, is uh, you know, pretty uh, condensed, Glenn, for this. Yeah, he's going to have to do a lot of work very quickly, and it's hard to imagine, even if he brings on extra staff, you know, researchers uh, or possibly lawyers to help him dig into this and do more interviews, whether or not he's going to be able to kind of get to the bottom of this in what is about six weeks from now. Uh, he started, of course, uh, his work already, uh, but it's still going to be uh, very quick. If he decides uh, that a public inquiry is not required, he is still engaged as special rapporteur until the end of October. He will presumably uh, file a some kind of a detailed report uh, to the prime minister, as well as to the leaders of, the, of all the opposition parties uh, that have standing in the House of Commons. That would become a public document. Uh, of course, it'll be subject, presumably, to redactions to protect any kind of confidential information or classified materials. Uh, but yeah, it's going to have to be uh, very quick that he's going to make that decision by May 23rd whether or not an inquiry is needed. Of course, the government's position is that NSI COP, that Committee of Parliamentarians, is better suited to do this. And we've heard a lot of pushback against the idea of a public inquiry because in order to get to the bottom of any of this, you're going to have to see classified materials from CSIS, from the RCMP, from the Department of Global Affairs. And those things cannot be screened publicly. You can't examine those in an open public hearing. So even if there is a public inquiry, a great deal of it would have to be conducted in camera. Uh, so that's kind of the reason why some people think it's not necessary, but you have all the opposition parties united now saying they have to move ahead with a public inquiry. So we'll see uh, in about six weeks time, Todd, exactly what uh, David Johnson believes. Our senior political correspondent in Ottawa, Glenn McGregor, with his breaking news. We now get more information on the mandate for David Johnston to look into election interference. Thank you for this, uh, Glenn. Appreciate it.